At Giga Texas, Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 stunned the crowd as it handed out Halloween candy with smooth, natural movements. Equipped with over 200 upgraded actuators and Tesla's latest FSD-grade AI, it moved with near-human grace and precision. How advanced has Optimus become after its latest upgrades and real-world demonstrations? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla Optimus, humanoid robots, and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. What upgrades did Optimus Gen 3 showcase at the Texas event? At the Halloween event at Giga Texas, the appearance of Tesla's Optimus stunned both employees and guests, not just because of its graceful movements or ability to communicate, but because the robot actually handed out candy to children and staff like a true co-worker. Images of Optimus holding a candy basket and gently offering sweets to people around it spread rapidly across social media, turning what was normally a casual celebration into a historic moment, a glimpse of a future where humans and robots share the same social space. Optimus didn't just hand out candy randomly, it observed the recipient's behavior. If someone bent down, the robot leaned forward to match their level. If someone raised a hand to say, thank you, Optimus responded with a polite nod. These seemingly small gestures revealed a major leap in Tesla's progress toward developing human behavior recognition and emotional response systems for humanoid robots. Tesla engineers on-site confirmed that Optimus was running an updated software version designed to process social behavior in real time. The robot used its vision cameras combined with AI motion prediction to adjust posture, distance, and movement speed appropriately, ensuring interactions felt natural rather than mechanical or intimidating. The act of giving candy wasn't merely a performance. Industry observers noted that this was actually a real-world test of Optimus's ability to operate in non-industrial environments without scripted behavior. Interacting with people of varying heights, movements, and gestures requires a behavioral AI capable of spontaneous adaptation rather than pre-programmed responses. Each candy interaction generated valuable data, measuring distance, reaction, speed, and emotional cues, which would later help train Tesla's deep learning models, allowing Optimus to become even more socially intelligent. Interestingly, Tesla did not heavily promote this event. Optimus simply appeared unexpectedly during the celebration, walking through the factory area transformed into Halloween Street, carrying its candy basket. This spontaneous appearance suggested that Elon Musk and his team wanted to test genuine human reactions to the robot, not stage-managed enthusiasm. The outcome exceeded expectations. Most attendees seemed delighted, curious, and even comfortable enough to take photos and interact with Optimus as if it were a friendly co-worker. Another widely discussed detail was the robot's refined hand movements. When distributing candy, Optimus delicately opened its fingers to release one piece at a time, without dropping or crushing it, demonstrating the impressive precision of Tesla's next-generation linear actuators. These are the same actuators Tesla reportedly ordered in large quantities from a Chinese supplier, enough to equip hundreds of thousands of Optimus Gen 3 units. The precise motor control on display shows that Optimus's hands have now achieved human-level dexterity in basic manipulation tasks, a crucial milestone for future roles in assembly, packaging, and elder care. This year's Halloween event was not just a playful showcase, it was a carefully designed statement from Tesla. Optimus is ready to step out of the lab and into society. Elon Musk once said, Optimus won't just work, it will live among us. When a robot can hand out candy, bow when appropriate, and step back to give others space, it's no longer just a tool, it's an intelligent presence capable of social collaboration. Many analysts believe Tesla is using events like Halloween as public psychology tests gauging how ready society is to accept humanoid robots. If reactions remain this positive, Giga Texas could see not one but dozens of Optimus units giving out candy, chatting, and even performing alongside employees by 2026. When that happens, the line between human and machine will blur, ushering in an era where people and robots share not just work, but joy, connection, and the celebrations of the future. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How fast is Tesla completing Optimus Gen 3? Tesla appears to be moving very close to finalizing the design and preparing for mass production of its humanoid robot Optimus Gen 3, marking a major milestone in Elon Musk's ambitious robotics vision. According to a recent report from Cena News, Tesla has reportedly placed a massive order worth around $685 million, 5 billion yuan, for linear actuators from Sanwa Intelligent Controls, with deliveries expected to begin in the first quarter of 2026. 
This is one of the clearest indications yet that mass production of Optimus is no longer theoretical. It is entering a stage of real-world preparation. Linear actuators are among the most critical components in humanoid robots. They function as artificial muscles, enabling smooth and precise movements of the arms, legs, wrists, and fingers. Industry analysts estimate that the quantity ordered by Tesla could be enough for about 180,000 Optimus units, suggesting that Elon Musk envisions a production scale far greater than any current robotics project from figure AI, Agility Robotics, if accurate. This would make Optimus the most ambitious humanoid robot program in the world, potentially ushering in a new era where robots can be manufactured like electric vehicles. Tesla's early move to secure components also reflects the company's long-standing strategy of supply chain preemption. The automaker has repeatedly used the lock-in approach, ordering parts before production begins to secure stable supply and lower costs, just as it did with 4,680 battery cells and gigapress castings. This indicates that Tesla is now applying its automotive playbook to robotics, with the goal of reducing Optimus's production cost to the point Elon Musk once described as cheaper than a car. At the same time, Tesla is recruiting over 100 new positions directly related to Optimus, including mechanical design engineers, electrical engineers, hardware testing specialists, and assembly technicians, signaling that a major expansion phase is underway in Palo Alto, California. These aren't just R&D roles. They strongly suggest that Tesla is setting up a semi-automated assembly line for Optimus, similar to how it optimized Model Y production using Giga Press systems. Job titles such as Senior Staff Manufacturing Engineer General Assembly and Test and Mechanical Design Engineer Energy and Optimus Integration indicate Tesla is standardizing its robot assembly process, testing mechatronic systems, and preparing for pilot manufacturing runs. The Optimus Gene 3 model is expected to deliver significant improvements over Gene 2, becoming lighter, more flexible, and more energy efficient. In past demonstrations, Elon Musk revealed that Optimus could already walk autonomously, bend down to pick up objects, and sort components on Tesla's assembly lines. However, Gen 3 is rumored to feature high-performance actuators, enhanced hand dexterity, and a next-generation AI system trained on real-world data from more than 10,000 internal prototype robots. This foundation would allow Optimus to operate in both industrial and household environments with far greater precision and autonomy. Importantly, the mass production of Optimus carries not just technological significance, but also long-term economic implications for Tesla. By investing hundreds of millions of dollars in critical components, the company is signaling that Optimus is being positioned as a strategic product line, on par with its EV division, and potentially more profitable in the next decade. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the economic value of humanoid robots will exceed that of the automotive industry, and Tesla's latest moves suggest he's now executing on that vision. However, major challenges remain. While early component orders are an encouraging sign, achieving true mass production will require Tesla to overcome obstacles such as actuator durability, AI learning adaptability, and manufacturing cost control. A humanoid robot contains hundreds of moving parts, each requiring extremely high precision and long-term reliability. Any flaw in design, calibration, or component testing could delay Tesla's mass production timeline. Taken together, the evidence from the $685 million actuator order to the large-scale Optimus hiring spree indicates that Tesla is now entering the pre-production phase of Optimus Gene 3. If this pace continues, pilot assembly could begin by late 2025, paving the way for full-scale production in 2026. When that happens, Tesla will not only remain the world's leading EV manufacturer, but could also become the first robotics company capable of producing hundreds of thousands of humanoid units annually. The big question now is, could Optimus Gen 3 become the iPhone of robotics? The first humanoid to step out of the lab and into the real world, transforming the global labor economy forever? What role did Optimus Gen 3 play at the UP Summit 2025? At the UP Summit 2025, Tesla stunned the entire tech world when its humanoid robot, Optimus, walked onto the stage by itself, held a microphone, and introduced two key figures, Franz von Holtz Hausen and Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's Vice President of Launch Operations. This marked the first time in Tesla's history that a robot not only appeared as a technical showcase, but also participated directly in a live event, speaking and interacting like a real human host. The voice coming from Optimus was clear and resonant, tuned through Tesla's AI audio system to sound natural and warm. The sight of the robot standing confidently before the audience, 
holding a microphone and saying, Hello, I'm Optimus. I'll be introducing two of Tesla and SpaceX's leaders today, became a historic moment in humanoid robotics. What made the moment even more significant was that it didn't take place at a private Tesla event but at UP Summit 2025, a gathering of hundreds of founders, engineers, and executives across AI, aerospace, energy, and advanced manufacturing. Tesla's decision to showcase Optimus in such a high-profile, interdisciplinary setting showed that the robot had reached a new level of stability, intelligence, and real-time interactivity. Unlike earlier demos, where Optimus merely walked or stood still, this time it demonstrated coordinated gestures, eye movements, and speech timing, what Elon Musk has described as the hardest part of making machines feel alive. Video footage of the event reveals the Optimus Gen 3 standing with a firm posture, moving smoothly as it stepped onto the platform, holding the microphone in its right hand while its left hand made natural assisting gestures. As it announced each name, the robot subtly turned its head toward the person, accurately mimicking human social behavior. This performance is strong evidence that Tesla's AI vision and spatial mapping systems have achieved a high level of precision, allowing the robot to self-adjust its posture, gaze, and interaction distance in real time. Such coordination is likely possible only because Optimus's motion control and perception software are deeply integrated with Tesla's full self-driving, FSD system, trained on billions of visual frames from Tesla's autonomous vehicles. The event also highlighted Franz von Holzhausen's design philosophy, minimalism, efficiency, and aesthetic coherence across all Tesla products. Optimus Gen 3 appeared with a clean, streamlined frame, its joints seamlessly enclosed to create a unified sculpted form. The combination of matte silver surfaces and a glossy black head, reflecting stage lights, made it look both industrial and futuristic. As the robot held the microphone, light bounced off its metallic casing, giving it the presence not of a walking machine, but of a steel and silicon presenter with human-like poise. Following the demonstration, Holtzhausen and Donchev engaged in a discussion about Tesla's cross-industry design and manufacturing approach. Holtzhausen stated, Optimus isn't just a machine, it's an extension of Tesla's design language. Simple, powerful, and purposeful. Donchev added, Building a reliable robot is like building a spacecraft. Every joint, every wire, every subsystem must be perfect. Their conversation underscored how Tesla is merging the precision of aerospace engineering from SpaceX with the production efficiency of its EV factories to create robots designed for mass manufacturing. However, challenges remain. While Optimus holding a microphone demonstrates major progress in tactile sensing and force control, achieving true dexterity for fine motor tasks, such as assembly, packaging, or wiring, still requires further refinement in Tesla's AI and haptic sensor systems. Musk himself has admitted that replicating the precision of human hands remains one of the most complex engineering problems in robotics. Even so, the moment when Optimus confidently took the stage, spoke, and it introduced humans at a global tech summit marked the transition from prototype to interactive performer. It symbolized not only Tesla's rapid technical advancement, but also Elon Musk's larger vision to make humanoid robots practical, communicative, and capable collaborators in the real world. If Tesla maintains this pace of development, Optimus could soon become the first humanoid robot in history to step into the industrial world, not just to demonstrate, but to work, to speak, and to exist alongside us. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.